clearly she should not have reacted the way she did. However, it is a normal human reaction with both the somatic and the autonomic nervous systems yeah. to respond when under threat. So she was being attacked agree. and responded. That was California radio talk show host Ethan Bierman on his show la on this show last Friday defending the New York Times hiring of Sarah Zhang despite her racist, anti-white, anti-cop tweets. Bierman later uploaded video of that segment to Instagram, right? A lot of people do that. But it was deleted. And an Instagram spokesperson told us, quote, this poster is moved in error and we are sorry. It has been since reinstated. Ethan Bierman joins us right now. Ethan, why do you think that happened? You were just retweeting something and actually defending the, t the Times writer to a degree. And not, not only that, Brian, uh, good to see you tonight, by the way, um, is uh, Tucker and I n didn't actually quote Sarah Jung's tweets. We were having a conversation about it. The only thing I can come up with right now is on social media, we are so divided. People are so angry about things. We're unable to have conversations that somebody, whether it was on the left or the right, at this point was very angry that uh, we were even having the conversation and people are petty and reach somebody said flagged it and Instagram lacks the systems to actually review what is being posted before they remove it and so they removed it I, I, I found it really upsetting actually I mean it didn't make any sense when I saw it was removed but you know you're not the first one but you are as someone who's not necessarily a conservative talk show host for someone to take that down because you were talking about a topic that what many conservatives found offensive, and I think Americans found offensive, and that was her prior tweets and statements. What does that tell you about where we're heading? Well, I, again, I, th I think it's, it's um, problematic that we can't have a conversation or that people are upset by uh, even having the conversation. Look, there are definitely legitimate concerns when people post hateful things. Some of the messages I get uh, about my Jewish background are absolutely reprehensible and should be taken down and should be flagged and marked and whatnot. If you're going to viciously attack somebody and or call for violence, there is no place for that. And I agree with these platforms preserving their terms of service and protecting those edges. But just to have the conversation about something, Brian, you and I engage in debate regularly. I think it's important. I think it's healthy. And I think uh, that we all grow when we're engaged in healthy debate. Calling names, calling for violence, not necessarily a good thing. Um, and especially calling for violence, I, I reserve the right of those platforms to remove those posts. 30 seconds left, Ethan. Do you think this is bots? Is this, is this a, uh, an algorithm? Or do you think this is a human being doing this stuff? Well, I think uh, overall the platforms have to have algorithms for removing posts. And I think the, where we've kind of gone too far with this is they default to removing first. And then only when, like Fox News reached out, did a human bother reviewing to say, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this post. And, and so, yeah, we're, we're counting on algorithms first. And I think they still have a lot of work to do. It's just amazing. So many times the topics that are conservative are getting targeted. But in this case, you talking about something uh, got targeted. Either we'll stay on top of that. Thanks so much. Brian, good to see you. Thanks for having me on. All right.